I was brand new to the area. The other three of you had seen it a little bit, but we were still awfully, awfully naive. We walked all over the Wright Valley uh, from top to bottom, the Asgard Range, Olympus Range, and continued the geological mapping from the 1957-58 season. That allowed us to put one large composite reconnaissance map together. So anyway, we had the, we had the, uh, the banana boat, as it was, a little six-foot sled, onto which we put everything, and it weighed 230 pounds. He and Dick walked from one end of Wright Valley to the other, carrying the uh, gravity meter, getting a gravity pro profile, and then they walked out over, there's a Piedmont glacier that separates the Wright Valley from McMurdo Sound. And they continued on over that, doing the gravity survey, so they could get the thickness of the ice. Now, I am good, strong and competent, but this <laughs> fellow here... And heavy. <laughs> is, ...is weak and so on. And they were worried about crevasses. And so Colin reasoned that uh, if he was pulling, and Dick was the safety man at the back, uh, Dick would never hold him if he went down a crevasse. So Dick had to pull all the way across the glacier. <laughs> The first trips here were, were mainly sort of uh, exploration and sort of fun. Later, in later trips, it settled down to being real science with real plans and uh, big complex programs of which I've been part. And, uh, and here I am with Andril, which is certainly the most advanced scientific project I've uh, been part of. The Andril expedition is worth $40 million. It's a change from little science to big science. You can't do things like deep drilling individually. You have to have a team. I find it rather remarkable, and I often think this way, that uh, we're even having a 50th anniversary of all this. And so I find the, uh, the continuation of uh, 50 field seasons or whatever it is rather remarkable. I know you take it for granted. I, I find that it's, uh, it's a remarkable event carry on to take for granted that you young guys are going to be at it in 50 years, I wouldn't take it for granted. I would start right now uh, talking to all the senile folk here and, and finding out how you get 50 years out. Uh, I think that the off-quoted Andrill and the Cape Roberts project before it, uh, that data has become essential globally in, in terms of, of understanding climate cycles, glacial cycles and uh, new hypotheses and new theories are, are coming just in the last five years or so. We are living in a new, exciting era of Antarctic history. We've entered the International Polar Year, or the IPY, which follows in the legacy of the IGY 50 years ago. Scientists are gathering at both poles, in the Arctic and in the Antarctic, in what is the largest international scientific collaboration effort ever. You do that at right. a particular junction, don't you agree? What does your little monitor at the top show you? Oh, oh there you go. Right. Uh -huh. We haven't really said a word worth, worth <laughs> recording yet. 